Good morning, folks. We've been in a cosmic ray health alert for about a day now, and it's not done yet. A major earthquake just struck as the second predicted earthquake of the day, but we're starting with spaceweathernews.com, and we're looking at the last 24 hours on our star. Big coronal hole turning through. No eruptive activity. At least on the Earth-facing side of the sun, where solar flaring remains down in the dumps. But the Earth-facing quiet is highlighted when the far side flares. Just watch over the top for plasma lifting away. You'll see two eruptions on the far side as we come to Stereo A, a solar flare of about M-class and a filament snap to the north with a solar tsunami. Those will miss Earth, and so far the coronal hole solar wind stream has missed Earth too. Phi angle just now settling into its shifted position, and that means the KP is still low too low. In fact, the Disaster Prediction app sent out cosmic ray health alerts yesterday, which are not relieved at this time. Plasma beginning to penetrate over Europe again as well. In the last week, we've been way below average seismicity. Most of that was between bulk coronal hole masses, but the wait is over. Here she is, eyes on the lithosphere. Last night's alert map put focus on the southern hemisphere and tropical regions with the only red alerts. You can see them bound there, taking the highest risk, including Papua New Guinea. A magnitude 8 earthquake has just struck that region this morning. USGS is already downgraded to 7.9, but either way, that's a big one, and it struck the alert zone. Luckily, it appears the largest tsunami potential is only about a foot and a half or so. No mega tsunami from that one. You might also have noted that for the first time, green alerts for above average, albeit non-damaging quakes, are appearing on the alert map as well. To be more specific, on Hawaii, an entire month saw 10 magnitude 3 earthquakes with none higher than 3.3. Earth's energy would have made a red line anywhere else in the world, but hey, that's Hawaii. Took about one day to exceed their monthly high magnitude by half an entire point, which is a big deal in earthquake magnitude. Certainly this is not as relevant as the big one we just saw before it, but legit science nonetheless. Up next, we're coming to the Weather Channel where their mid-range forecast is updated. Very different look for January in the next three months compared to the last iteration which had above average temperatures up and down the central states and no areas below average. Speaking of below average, snow has fallen, keeps falling, and is forecast to continue at record levels. Only now we're expecting record cold to accompany it. Eyes open as the system charges through the states. You'll see it in a moment with the World Weather Overview. But first, folks, thanks for the warm showing on day one of our book release. It's textbook level information, guidebook style and length, communicated at a level anyone can understand. The Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. Now let's go to pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. Those in the States, take heed of what's charging across the breadbasket now. It's almost 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.